Right, hello and welcome back to Joyless Gaming and Injustice 2 Legendary Grind. It's time for the beetle. I've done it. I have finished all of the stupid guild events and all of the nonsense. It's it's here. Yay. Blue beetle. <laughs> Got any hobbies besides killing? My name's the Fall of Atlantis. I'll take that as a no. Right. Begin. Red tornado, you say? I'm I'm gonna be heavily relying on stats to carry me through this, I'm getting the hang of this. because um, oh. I'll fillet you like a fish. That's messed up, bro. Not very good with beetles. Um, and there's only very specific things he can do. Well, yes, stats certainly help that. Is this really necessary? Sadly, yes. That man's gonna kill me. Begin. <laughs> Oh, damn it. He's got a lot, um... He's got a lot to make up for for the fact that he can't combo into that easily. That's basically his launcher. Oh, dear. I'm stealing this fight. It's totally not cool. Take some damage. Okay, that was easy. Stats are saving me. Lady, I was such a big fan. Was a big fan? Yeah, till you went all regime and stuff. Begin. It's great for chip and um, all that sort of stuff, but it's actually, uh, it's an equipped ability, but it's, it's actually minus nine, so, you know, you want to worry about who can actually punish that. Yeah, but, uh, and the other thing that I've got on this one, which is neat, is that, which is actually plus on hit, doesn't uh, knock down. And is minus three on block, so that's great because it's a double hitting mid. That's like eleven frames. I mean, that's plus on hit. So you can use it on hit, but um, and that that one need a burned launches, but it's really hard to follow up on. So. I thought these abilities might sort of help compensate for his lack of ability to combo into his standard launcher, and they don't really. That one went quickly. I guess having all of those stats helps. Now you thought Deadshot was bad. Nice when you can get a bounce attack in. Oh damn it, I was actually doing a combo. Alright, 
that whole second tower was a bit of a wash. I don't know if I'll include much of it. And I'm going to go back to stats. Shall we duel, your highness? I am a god, not a king. I am hopelessly confused. Yeah, well. Begin. Whoa. Okay, stats really carried me through that. I dread to think about what the final boss fight is going to be like. Now, yeah. I think I'm going to stick with that one rather than this set. Well, this is an actual set. Some change so I can't just zone her out, though. Nice cosplay. Eternal torment and damnation await you. And very angry. Begin. Ow. That was a punish. That was a punish as well. Damn. Ah, you move reading bitch. I need to be better. Right now. <laughs> it's totally not cool. Why why can't why why flash the end of that? Damn it. That went better than I expected. I guess I did do lots of damage when I could get a hit. Oops, <laughs> I didn't pause. Anyway, to the lab. But yes, Power Blade's active the entire match. And it makes his projectile his character power. 20% chance for a 50% damage reduction. It's not bad. That doesn't connect at max range. Yeah, anyway. It turns his projectile into his character power. And so you've got a one button projectile. And oh, it makes it on a meter. So that's actually even worse. This is actually even worse than I thought. So mandible strike is unsafe. It's quite unsafe and part of the problem with that is that this back forward three is his wake up so you actually lose a safe mid wake up permanently and you've only got an unsafe 
wake up. That's a big problem, not having what is actually a safe 11 frame mid invincible wake up. This is a 12 frame mid. I think it's still invincible as his wake up, but it's unsafe. It's not actually a good trade. And it makes his projectile not spammable. Yeah, it's uh this this I'm I'm actually this there's not a lot to lab with this. This is actually really absolutely not worth it, I think. But so yeah, good news, you always get the extended range. Bad news, your projectile is no longer spammable because it's got a meter that drains every time you use it and you lose your safe wake up. I don't think it's a worthwhile trade-off, especially seeing as how you have to do 200 guild events to get this fucking thing. I... I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, losing a safe wake up option and nerfing his projectile when it's one of the best things he has is... Yeah, not worth the amount of time it takes to do 200 guild events. I'm, I'm sorry to leave this so short, it, well maybe short, I don't know if it's going to turn out being short, but and maybe disappointing, but I'm quite disappointed. If it removed the safe wake up option, but it didn't nerf his projectile, I'd say maybe you could go for it. But the fact that it nerfs his projectile as well, it limits how much you can use that projectile, as well as removing your safe wake up option, this is not worth it and that's quite disappointing for one of the earliest ones added and one of the more tedious ones to get so um yeah it's a bit of a shame and all of these from now on uh these are gonna be getting really far between because all all but one of the remaining legendaries for me to get require the 3000 minutes there's only one that doesn't and it requires guild events, and also that character is dead shot. And also that legendary sucks, and I already know that. But otherwise, yeah. Sorry to, dis to disappoint any Beetle fans, but this is not very good. Yeah. Otherwise, um, thanks for watching, and see you around, I guess. Bye for now.